Hi, I'm Daiki Di Matcha, and today uh, I will try two sencha and one gyokuro which we harvested in uh, this year. Even me, I didn't did not try yet, so very looking forward to see the taste. But first, we will do a uh, oku midori. The one big difference is until last year we just harvest and process at the same day and then we sell that tea but this year the growth was really good so we deprocessed after that deprocess means while we shading leaves continues to grow so the contents of the stem part increase more so we remove those stems so to see more difference is once we open it this uh, this year's tea and this one is from last year you see this white part is actually stems so like we remove this part this year because we they grow more so we increase more this stems part not bad. it's it's good but it's a bit like glassy so to enjoy more pure taste of leaves it's better to remove it and if this mount is fine, but this year we did that part. Without stems, it's more like you can enjoy the pure taste of the tea leaves itself. One scoop is around 5 grams actually. Pour into the cup to cool the hot water. But from today, from this year, we use our own factory. So, like one lot of our factory is only 60 kilograms of fresh leaves. But till last year, we used the co shared one. One lot is more than double. So, like because of that, small factory can make more in detail process. So, we set several parts in differently. So, that's also affect the taste, I guess. Yeah. This is very beautiful and it's really nice green yellow color. This is the uh, typical characteristics of Kyoto tea. It's Asamushi Shallow Steam. Oh. Uh, soft, soft taste. It's like. So I assume, like. A bit wait longer or a bit using hotter water should be better to enjoy a bit more strong taste like but really less bitter few 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 bitterness but more like you feel the taste of mami also the nice aroma of sencha we'll do goko a shade one 15 days i think shade also deprocessed so remove the stems Water to the cup to cool it down. Just a relatively hot water I'm using to enjoy bit strong taste. <laughs> oh, so nice cream color. Oh, yeah, beautiful. So 
surprisingly such using using such hot water but still very few bitterness but really feel the which money is actually I can say more for sure better than last year this one this year's tea I recommend to use hotter water like I in general like 65 70s I recommend to use but this year is like 80 85 Yet very hotter one. Even by using hotter one, still less bitter. But like by using hotter water, you can enjoy more rich aroma and then more like a strong taste of umami you feel. So it's really ah, this is very tasty. To be honest, Kyokuro. Kyokuro is using the tent and then shading for more than 20 days. The same cultivar, Goko. So. Gyokuro, I think it's better to use cooler temperature. And then I, I'm thinking the tendency of this year's by using relatively cool water, but will steep longer. This year's like the taste of tea is relatively like soft, but that means you can enjoy less bitter taste. But like for me, I like the stronger taste. So like for sencha, like okumidori and goko, I intended to use a bit hotter water. But like this is a gyokuro, so we don't want to use the um, high temperature, but want to enjoy the stronger taste. So to do that, I will wait a little bit longer comparing with other. In, in general. So basically what will happen if we brew Gyokuro with high temperature? I think by doing that, I mean, it's more difficult to see the difference between the Goko shade for 15 days and Gyokuro. Oh. So like more like to expect the uh, Gyokuro Goko want to enjoy really rich umami taste only. So oh. like don't want to use high temperature really like lower and then wait longer Gyokuro I need to use like a lower amount of amount of water actually Umami taste that's from the amino acid to let the tea trees make a lot of amino acid for gyokuro using so many organic fertilizers but to produce organically we don't we use a lot but we don't use so much because if you put so many organic fertilizers that's really invite a lot of insect and disease so like making organic gyokuro it's very rare and especially tasty organic gyokuro is so rare actually. But finally, gyokuro especially, you can explore so many different kinds of gyokuro in whole Japan. Mostly a very tasty gyokuro is more stronger taste, but that's also tasty. But ours are like umami but like more like settled and easy to drink. That's because of the tendency of the way of the production, the organic way. So, well, it's, well, please enjoy the different types. <laughs> I, I really like ours. Like, it's better to uh, do some adjustment for the brewing to enjoy the strong taste. And for the gyokuro, my gyokuro wise, it's better to enjoy the less bitter and rich umami taste. So, 
the temperature of water is need to be lower, but like longer steaming time, I think it's better. Steeping time is better. So like I maybe waited for three minutes and more, and then once completely leaves open, and then we I brewed. So by doing it, I also enjoyed really rich taste of the umami, but like not so too strong, so it's easy to drink also. So like please a uh, enjoy your way of the brewing, but tendency wise like that. So I I recommend to use a bit hotter water. I strongly strongly to with confident to let you enjoy this every three. Uh, and also, if you want to try the tea, please check our website. There's all different types of tea. Some tea you can also compare it with previous one. So please also enjoy the difference. So thank you so much. Thank you for your time to watch it.